Hi, I'm Annie. I'm the co-founder of Okojo Market, an online marketplace selling beautiful handmade clothing, accessories, and homeware from designers across Africa. My co-founder Natasha and I launched our platform last year, determined to change the supply chain entirely by making it easy for designers and makers to sell internationally, be recognized for their skill, and receive an income they deserve. My family are from Zimbabwe, and I've always been immersed in African art. During my years working for a major international art gallery, I learned how to represent artists in a way that truly reflects who they are and what they stand for. The fashion retail industry today is not shining a light on its makers, and their stories are not being told authentically. But this is a new dawn in retail, and COVID has only propelled two key trends, a rapid increase in online shopping and the importance of ethics and sustainability when making a purchase. The UK accessories, homeware, and clothing market is worth 25 billion pounds a year. And a recent McKinsey survey study recognized that 67% of customers are switching to more ethical and sustainable purchases. We are at the forefront of this shift. Hi, I'm Natasha. And I'd like to talk more about our work. I was lucky enough to travel across Africa when I worked as a business risk and investigations analyst. I witnessed garment workers earning as little as $20 a month and the existing supply chain structure exploiting makers, leaving them with no job protections or basic human rights. But I also saw incredible talent and inherently sustainable methods of manufacturing, from the use of local raw materials, no wasting of water or fabrics, and no use of chemical dyes. My goal was to secure steady income to these makers so that they could send their children to school, not have to sell their wares for nothing at the market, or travel far from their families to take up degrading work in urban areas. There are many incredible brands doing this work on the continent, and we initially partnered with 10 brands before expanding rapidly to now work with 42 brands across 16 countries in Africa. We prioritize transparency and visibility, and with my background, we created due diligence tools to help us select brands Using, their eth using ethical criteria, their preservation of the local environment, and ability to fuse fun, contemporary designs with traditional craft. Okojo means collective in Yoruba, and when I left my job in 2019, I set out to create a community of trusted, vetted brands. With Annie's background in design and communications, we built a platform that was centered on the maker, that told their story and elevated their products. We take 25% commission on sales, charge a brand joiner fee, and offer additional subscription services for brands that need a bit more support. And we very often provide free guidance to a wide variety of makers. Who wouldn't want to use a hand wash made from freshly picked ingredients on a farm in Kenya, which employs 50 women and includes a school on site for their children to go to? Or why choose an overproduced Boohoo Swimsuit, when you can use our brand, Gabrielle Swimwear, which features a unique African print, and its fabric is made up of recycled plastic bottles found in the ocean. In just 18 months, we have generated £60,000 in sales for our brands, and it is difficult to overstate the impact of getting income directly to makers, most of whom are women. Tenny, one of the founders of our brand, Eclectic Chic, sought our help earlier this year. She pivoted from making her usual fashion accessories to producing face masks in her bright African prints. She safely transported her artisans to her workshop in a staggered way and provided them with accommodation so that they didn't have to return home to their families immediately after work. We sold Tenny's face masks on our site. We sold out twice over. We featured her face masks in Vogue and Condé Nast and Tenny's business is thriving. Each of our designers and makers have on average 5.5 dependents, and we have calculated that collectively we are impacting the lives of 8,500 individuals since last year. But we have so much more to do. We have specific impact targets and very ambitious growth plans, focusing on customer retention and acquisition in the UK before expanding internationally. 
We will take on 100 designers in the next two years. We are raising £250,000 in a first round of funding, and with this, we'll hire a head of marketing, collate and make use of data, and upgrade technologies, back-end workflows, and logistics processes. Through strategic partnerships, PR, brand ambassadors, such as a very exciting collaboration with Arizona Muse, sustainability activist and model, we've grown organically. Please get in touch if this is interesting and you would like more information. The way we shop has changed. This is just the beginning and it couldn't be more exciting. Without wanting to sound like a typical Christmas ad, this really is the perfect time to buy someone you love something from a Kojo market that they will love, but that also preserves rich cultures, protects the planet, and truly provides equal opportunities. Thank you.